Hello, welcome back. I don't remember what I was doing from this part of the game. And fair warning, I'm actually going to do most of the main quests first before I do any of the side quests. Because it's just easier. That's empty. Um, okay, I got five more of these, and I figured out I can actually get all five of them, and then, uh, go, uh, talk to them about everything. Okay, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. Scan the keepers, but I don't remember which ones I need to scan. So we're going to peek at all the ones that I haven't, that I remember touching. Okay, I already talked to Jaleed. Prescription skill hero, what? Oh man, this is weird going back this far. This is creepily weird. So I'm so much farther. Didn't we just get the Spectre status? Yes! Yes, we did, and we are officially approved to go to, uh, go and f find Saren. Try and find Saren, go to places that would be where his last whereabouts would be. So, that's, our job is to uh, go explore specific systems, and, uh, like Pharos and Avaria, uh, both in, having marks from Saren, like, uh, being, oh, he's been there. Quote unquote. Uh, I'll do this one real quick. Uh, In light of the recent attack on Eden first. Prime, many colonial investors are pulling Actually, their support no, for future anyways. projects. Um, Proponents of expanded human colonization so, insist that Eden Prime is um, an Nevertheless, uh, Roman has her name is Liara, but she's the daughter of the matriarch, and she's on. And so have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I don't remember what the other one. I don't remember what it's called. It's just a dig site. So we're all ready to get the ship and everything because yes, spoiler, we're gonna get the Normandy. But as long as I don't talk to them. We're going for this keeper right here. Because we want to get all the keepers. Hi, Mom! So, with Spectre status includes In other news, so much to this game. Denying reports that one of their um, survey teams has gone missing we get power, like cluster. a lot of power. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Okay, I need to, for one, put my keyboard back in place, and for two, get the spam running. Okay, we'll do that later. I just gotta remember what's available and what's not to do. I believe I already scanned this. Yeah, okay. Scan that keeper. Don't need to go to him. Whoops. Gotta remember here. Gotta remember. I don't remember. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. And our protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Okay. I know where another one's lying that I did not know of prior, of where it is. Uh, sitting. Okay. We're gonna try and explore every nook and cranny. Get all of the keepers found first. And then move on. I think we scan that keeper too, aren't we? I know we have the one in the embassies. There's one in here. Yeah, there's not. 
I never properly. I don't know. Whoops, what that was an accident. I accidentally tapped that and she. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there Let me take a look at what of you course. Oh, wow, she sells stuff. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we can't afford that. I'm not even going to try and look at that. I will want a medical ex uh, exoskeleton later down the road, but nowhere near right now. Um. Oh yes, we need to talk to this lady. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. The pays me up front? Uh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. They're blank. <laughs> They're blank. I lied. I lied. There's nothing on those. <laughs> bum, bum. I believe there's one in here, but I don't remember. I only actually ever went in flux like once originally. So I have no idea what's in here. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volvas? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking her about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSAC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Hold a sneaky on who? Are you talking about that lady I just talked to, or are you talking about this lady right here? Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Oh, oh, you mean, oh, pull the sneaky on her. You mean, like, did I do that to her? No, no, that was just a joke. That was just a joke. I didn't actually do that, but it would be funny. Maybe I could help her understand just how That was just me joking around. <laughs> would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back yeah. to work before I get in trouble. Yeah, no, I was just I was just goofing around with that. Lagging. Uh I don't know if it's journal. Oh wow, that's a that's a quest I didn't even find. I just came in here and scanned the keeper and then left. I have no idea how these games work. <laughs> Here, like just just for just for shits and giggles, I will go and play one of these Quasar games. Get closest to twenty without going over. Uh, Quasar is essentially blackjack, but it's weird. Ah. Screw it, why not? <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Well, yeah, I got my, I got my, uh, my money back. <laughs> now let's go play a high stakes quasar now. 200 credits. This is gonna go badly. This is gonna go very badly. <laughs> Essentially, catch 21, yeah. Screw it, I'll take it. It's 
take my money back. Yeah. Yeah, you can't go over, um, you can't go over 20. Ah. All right, we're done. We're done. Oh, I lost money. I lost too much money on that. Yeah, you, you can't go over 20. It's, it's um, instead of a catch 21, it's just 20. So it's, it's really weird. Let's, let's just go with that. It's, it's really weird. How many keepers is that, by the way? That's 17. Now, there is more than 20 keepers on here. I think there's like 21 or 22. But it's really hard to find all of them. Like, I found one of these keepers that I didn't scan after I already got 20 keepers. I was like, okay, so there's another keeper. This game's keeper. Okay, I did. So we're, we're really just. We're not going to talk to Shorbin. Not until we get all 20 keepers. Because I want as much XP out of it. I know there's not any in Quartz Den. So I want to go to. I don't know, maybe there is one in there. Oh no, put the gun up, put the gun up, put the gun up. Okay. We have to be going to Cores Den anyways, I just realized that. Right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't the game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. She puts on a brave face. Eh, funny. Anywho, no, let's move onward. I don't remember if there was a keeper back here or not. No, there's not. Okay. Oh, wow. That says red, but apparently you can come back here. I guess in case you missed Fist's OSD, you can come back and get his OSD again. Or we're the owners. Either way. Pretty small nightclub if it's for the as big as the Citadel is. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Oh, I accidentally hit X again. You damn newcomers think they can run the place. I keep hitting X. I'm used to skipping. That was odd. What was he trying to tell us? I guess we'd better go find out. Ugh. I've played the game so many times, I skip a lot of the dialogue. Even though I love listening to it, I also skip it. And sometimes I just skip the dumb parts. Go to C sec and later, but I gotta try and find all of these, all of these keeper boys. We got three more, so scan you. Where did this go? Ah. Already explored all the way through there, so coming up. 
In a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. This is the ward's access. This guy right here. Did not know he existed. We'll come back down to the ward's access later because... Follow signal to the financial district of the Presidium. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. I'm not really. I'm more concerned about getting all of these keepers first, so we don't have to. Gaddis, if you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Torian? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Torians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. Also, um, in my other game, I played with most of the other characters throughout the entire thing. Now, it was fun because I got all the achievements for playing with different, with all six characters for five missions, which it didn't used to be that way. The achievements used to be you had to play the game with that specific character for pretty much the entire game. It was completely different. But now they changed it up. To where it is, it, it's not like that anymore. The game plays out where you just do five missions and you get achievements. Uh, eh, okay, but it's just not the same. Even so, uh, I uh, got all of them. And why do I have to talk to Bar Levon? It's because it's him. Somewhere on the Pacific. No shit. Back of the apartment. It's in the back room of the Emporium. Okay, so there's a back room. Nifty. Did not know that. There's a whole lot of Blake. I need to talk to her anyway. Got a moment. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Fast, because we just became one. <laughs> I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. What do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Mm, neat. Yes, I know, you see, it gives me Renegade, but that's... The only Renegade I'll get in the entire first, in the entire run of um, Mass Effect 1. It is the only Renegade points. I think I get a couple in Mass Effect 2, and I definitely know I get them in 3. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating a self-destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. 
Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a program or a VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. <laughs> if you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Hi. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Apparently leveled up. Uh, this first. And Spectre Training. Yay. Your decryption is now at the highest decryption. Now I have to work on electronics. I need to get all the way to there. And then you... I'm gonna play with Rex afterwards because I didn't break it, shopkeeper. You cannot blame me for anything. You didn't see it, so I didn't do it. Did I already look at this keeper? He had it. Oh. Trying to go through this fairly quickly. I don't think anyone wants to just watch me walk around forever. Well, we'll make it a longer stream tonight. Even though I'm tired, I'll, I'll still make it a longer stream tonight. Are you okay with that? What? Me making it a longer stream? Meaning the light will be on for a little longer? Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Sentinus. Thank you for speaking with me. Even the Alcor Dukemon has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. 
I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. Yeah, you're right. I was. You I probably was. You are a soldier was. through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people attend to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. Oh, yeah, yeah. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words without dissent, Commander. Sorry, trying to... What are you doing? If you want one, you can have one. You have Get the plastic gifts. out of your mouth! <laughs> Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never oh, underestimate the power of words. You're not a turtle. You don't need that in the Here, Commander. Mouth. In light of your efforts with the Alcor <laughs> Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? <laughs> a small mystery. I'm going to stop you right there on that one, Chief. I've never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. Uh, I have done everything I could. Remember my words, Commander Shea. I do believe. I still have to do that one, but I'm waiting until my um my paragon tire. I'm trying to remember where all these are. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Not yet. Thank you, Commander. Woo! Put the gun up, put the gun up, put the gun up. Okay. I forgot I still have to go talk to that guy. Oh, yeah. Is this 19? I know what 20th is. Not in here, I just want to come here. Goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do. But holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. To stop anyway, crap like this, yeah, because that's hard matters. enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell yeah. Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yeah, you're right. Get out of here. The final keeper. I don't have.
have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Your butt was in the way. <laughs> I'm not saying that on stream. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any work? Yes. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, I just took a picture. Shut up. Okay, <clears throat> now it's time to go talk to Torben, but not for his keeper stuff. We're we'll talking about Jaleed. Expecting to see you again? Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. One one, huh? My experiments are. Babe, you We're not win. buying it. No, Jaleed told us you. Could no, have. Uh, you, you spoke with Jaleed. Then you know about the data. Do you want to throw one? Strawberry could be cherry, dumbass. Ow! No, but you're you gonna tell me. Every my bad knee, you <laughs> ass. Oh, boys can go. Oh, like you just fucked me in my ass. Your Looks like my plans have changed. That's temporary. This I is know. forever. Think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep okay. talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. Jeez. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. You're not fast enough to be. I know. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings, but he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell What's it. On your leg? I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. <laughs> we just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. You'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole, or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jaleed still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. I'll deal with Jaleed. So long, Commander. Even though I already gave him all of what he wanted. <laughs> I'm still gonna be like, yeah, nah, give it all back. And I'll take the XP and the money for it, <laughs> but give, all, give it all back. You didn't see sex. I like to drink water all the time and come to find out that is a very bad thing for me because I do believe I'm probably caffeine dependent or, or just some kind of sugar dependent because 
if I don't have caffeine throughout the day, I start to crash. And not in the I'm sleepy kind of crash, it's the Hello again. I feel like I'm gonna die Did kind of crash. Have any luck finding Shorbin? I found I'm out serious. you've been lying. I, no, I'm not lying. Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the keeper. Uh he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? You should have thought of that sooner. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary. But our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the city are built, or why the keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Oh, yeah. If it's that important, then take it oh, back to the oh, people it belongs to. I suppose I should. All right, I'll take it back and continue work on it there. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Have a nice day, Jaleed. Um, Commander? Would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? What do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a Keeper, scan it. Whenever you get a unique scan, I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck, and so long. Funniest thing is, you actually, I can't complete that because I already did it for Jorben. But I took all the data back. And I can't rescan. So, I do believe, do believe I can go talk to um, the other guy now. Take some chill. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Jenna. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping yeah, a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? Yes. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? As part of the job, are you going to help me or not? You're a smart guy, Jellic. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. Sure. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, level up. That's Unity. Advanced shield boost and another spectrum train. Okay. Whoop! Almost forgot to tally. Oh, I'll upgrade her, because why not? Okay. Now we gotta go 
back down. Um, yeah. Back down. Do you remember when there was a time? Oh. See, it'd be nice if I could be able to play music that would technically be copyright and not be like any strikes from it, but because I'm affiliate, I can't do that. No, I'm sad. You can get away with the menu music and stuff for Mass Effect because the menu music, but... Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Nice. Now, the reason I didn't pick the other one, of uh, the Paragon one, is because you can set it off by telling them that you're going to arrest them. And they're like, what the hell are you getting at? And then you'd be like, ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and yeah, that's going to get you killed. You better not do that. It's really dumb. I'm like, eh, nah, I'm good. Doesn't get you anything. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Jellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Woo! Oh, damn. New stuff. Yeah. Already what I'm using. Okay. Oh. Already what I'm using. I do believe that that is all we can do. Oh yeah, the, the profit. Then after the profit, that should free everything. I'm just gonna take the elevator up. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. How so? The Normandy is built for stealth, not combat. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected it, flanking maneuvers. You can't really hear it, but the background music is like a jingly a little 8-bit elevator music version of the main theme of Mass Effect. What you've worked on yourself. It's hilarious. Embassies to Citadel Tower, because that guy is in the Citadel Tower thingy. I'm enjoying playing with the hairs on my leg. You enjoying yourself? I'm taking that as a yes. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Okay, geez. Took you forever to answer. God. Oh. Excuse me. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. 
Has anyone actually complained about this, Hanar? Not yet, but any good CSEC officer removes problems before they create a public nuisance. You've explained the law. If the Hanar gets in trouble, it has nobody to blame but itself. I suppose I can tell my superior that I attempted a diplomatic solution. Some other CSEC officer can arrest the Hanar. It's no longer my problem. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah. The officer has left, and this one is free to share the glory of the Enkindlers. This one offers its appreciation. Happy to help. This one has little money, but it can offer this. Now finally, this one can continue sharing the truth unimpeded. Uh, didn't even give us any money anyways, just... Alright, um, we're not going to be able to actually go to Conrad until we come back to the Citadel later. So now it's time to move on. We can finally move on. Yay! To... Chichek. Chichek. Check. Check the public. Now we can leave. Binary Helix has settled after running around for an hour. Group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan Group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal Better. of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued Good. for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Oh, you, my lens is not working. Oh. You did it anyway. <laughs> I've got yeah, big so news. Make sure you your cheese stick doesn't touch my foot. <laughs> is stepping down as commanding officer of the yeah, Normandy. The I ship did. is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a specter. Treat her well. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A specter can't answer to anyone but the council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Silver. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. Thanks, Mom, for the hydrate. I ran out of water. Me later and I'll tell you the whole story. But I've got my shirt. But now all you need to know is I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conflict. He's got us get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth and the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop it. Yeah. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezi, the other boys in that recording. I asked him. I didn't. I said I'm fine. I said he was like, we don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara. I'm enjoying Liara drinking my cherry vanilla, but okay. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted Thanks, worlds Tom. in the Artemis Tau cluster. <laughs> the colonists on Pharos might still okay, be Okay, good night. Good night. It's your decision, Sorry. Commander. Are you playing by yourself? You're a specter now. And don't answer yeah, to us. single player again. Your actions single still reflect on humanity oh, okay. as a whole. Why? You make a mess and I yeah. get stuck cleaning it up. Tech, get out. Please. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander. How are you holding up? 
Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the yes, one who's Yes, take a I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Ow. I should go. I'll be here if you need me. All right, y'all. Here we go. Finally. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Why are you progress. standing backwards, Garrus? Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on the chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. Got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Ow. Find Saren before he Ow. finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Take your time, Leona. Too long, our species All we are is just getting this cutscene. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. <laughs> our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Thank you. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Oh, badass. <laughs> what now? Yes, I know what I'm doing before you ask. Going right back out of the ship for one reason. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. The reason I'm doing this is because you can inspect the weapons, the hull, and the thrusters. And that's a tiny bit more XP. The entire reason I came right back out here. Also, because I need to upgrade you. Stand by that was it. shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop it. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. <sighs> Ow. So now we're going to walk around the ship for a hot second.
before we actually move on to uh, everything else. I'll give a fair warning. I really don't care to talk to Caden. Oh, posture check. Sorry. Part of the posture check means I have to sit in the chair, right? There. You have now upset my koala. My sloth. No what? worries. Oh, no worries. Just heard no worries. Yeah, no worries. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna oh Matsada. said that as the hour mark popped up. Thank you, stay healthy bot. spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Where else have you served, Adams? If you name a class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo, only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation, too easy for sensors to pick them up, unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions fit. Eventually, the sinks have to be mended. More than a few hour assignment running, and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up the FTL, blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. The sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. I want to know more about the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on, probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. What's so special about the Tantalus drive core? Proportionally, it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarry. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but... 
but they were, mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admirals. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence Should I continue just letting, just talking to all of them and learning everything, or do you want me to continue on through the game? To allow them to like, in honesty, I mean, if you want to watch, do you want to watch this and just a lot of talking, or we can How come the council just play on? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously creates an inherently unstable matrix. So, the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low level. Okay, fair enough. If that's what you like, you like the dialogue, then you, you get to learn about the Geth and the Quarians. That doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. 
All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more again, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a guest began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a mere panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. You can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the veil. Now we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birch chips and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject a gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Like what? See you that. later. Talk about that. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not... There's some of it. Well, as long as you don't mind. I'm gonna skip Watch this, because this is just... Hell, the license is alone. Let's see what you... bet, Commander. Now, originally I used to think that the Spectre Master Gear was the strongest weaponry that you could actually get in this game. I was wrong. That is in no way how this works. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I'm your working. We'll talk about something else, leaves. Exactly. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. I had nothing else to say, though. Think their own way. They're free to handle things your way. C-Sec is very fighting rules, and damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Sounds like your little cousin. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol Is your little cousin done. Commander That's Shepard? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. 
Tech handling of Terran was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate it. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CCP. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not bad. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand. Yeah, he kind of gets upset with you on that. Whatever. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? I'm sorry. I wouldn't mind talking to you, sir. Yeah, we will talk later. Uh, Rex. Nice ship you got, Shepard. What kind His of middle name almost you? was? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us. But it's not what killed They settled for Gunner instead? I gotcha. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Tire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth. And most that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credit? He'll choose fight in due time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change. So long, Rex. Shepard. Alrighty. Elevator. Going up. Lox, clocks. Smocks and lunge away. Now, finally, we take a save. Yeah, see, I'm close to the ending of the game. For 21 hours. <laughs> Played a lot of it. So, but we save on these two saves. Save one and two are for stream. Save three and four are for personal. As they will be in the next game as well. Depending. Yeah. Hi Ash, welcome. 
welcome. I'm glad you're here. How is your evening? I'm not going to read any of these. I'm just only going to survey them. If something pops up for a planet that I can survey them, I'm going to survey it. I probably won't end up getting it, but... Uh, oh, I got a data disk. Nice. Officially landed. Now this world's pretty, pretty straightforward. Equalizing interior. with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please. Up the stairs, past the freighter.
Death just keep coming. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing the pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. Sure, buddy. I'm glad you think so. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help me. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Tower secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. 
Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnel. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnel? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now. Getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharaoh. Of course, Commander. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Okay. Now, we've talked to a few specific people. That's where Fight In is. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid meat. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Tell me about yourself to tell. I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have to go. So long. work with those geth glad you showed up i still need the power cells for this generator though would it help if i brought in some power cells from the normandy we can certainly spare a few the top of the lion's ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we got the cells just aren't compatible if i find anything while i'm looking around i'll send it your way thank you commander i appreciate it i'm sorry but i can't stop to talk i have to deal with the water shortage is there anything i can do the utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. I have to go. I wish you luck. Alright, I'm gonna talk to this guy. And then we'll move on. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to... Nothing I can afford at this moment. I didn't finish this room, I didn't go back here.
that's our last step right there. We're gonna go do all the underground stuff, which includes their food, water, and power. Boop. Boop. Thank you for the boop, Ash. Oh God, they're everywhere. Doesn't mean I'm putting my gun up. So that is So annoying. God, that is so annoying. That is something I've been waiting on. Finally got a picture uh, I've been waiting for from my uh, sister's wedding. Not my real sister, mind you, just, but still my sister nonetheless.
I used to call the scimitars uh, schmeters. So I had to say scimitar. Long ago. I could have used Unity, but I have to use about 50 of these through time, so... don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. No! Ah! I wasn't hurt like anything. It was intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the... Ah! I'm trying to get to the... Dying! <laughs> Let's go. He can't help us. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No one can help me now. Rip. I'd rather die fighting. Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the. Ah! Okay. He's fun and part. Yeah, totally. All right. 
Alright, that's everything now. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system command. hack and everything now which was our goal to get to so now before we go down that elevator which takes us to the rest of the uh, the world level oh, whatever Turn all these quests in, and then we'll leave. And yes, there is a specific part of this mission that I may or may not have to redo multiple times because it's at least it was pretty hard not hard, but it was pretty challenging. Hello for me. again, Commander. I killed the big Varen, the rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. I'm not even worried about food. Or food, money. <laughs> nice work, but I still need the power cells for this generator valve. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Yeah. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth if we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your time. Thank you again, Commander. Yeah. That puts us ever closer to level the next level. Is there something I can do for you? Let me see what you of have. Of course. I've got money for things now, but I'm gonna save up. Personally. Commander? For you. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander, for in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. You know, honestly, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Feel it is not right for me to push on the fact of what's wrong with them. Especially when it looks like it's a renegade action, anyways.
down to the gap base. Something an intelligent mind expects to see. A very fun vehicle to drive. I will take some hits deliberately. Moving out. So this one? Yes, it is. Is that all of the down here? Uh, rip? Okay. I guess that was. Forget them. We need to find the gap. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back to me, Eric. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard. I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They survived. The Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And be familiar. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. Why do people always assume we enjoy putting ourselves in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. 
All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say. All right. We're sadly going to come across a part later down the road that we just can't avoid. Once we finish the Skyway and get to the actual headquarters, I'm going to call it there. I am, I'm pretty tired right now. There's no point to this unless they're looking for something.
got stuck there, buddy boy. So we're supposed to go down here, but as I said, that's where we're calling it, guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs>